Greetings and welcome once again to STL Soccer Talk, the video edition. I'm Tom Timmerman, beat writer for St. Louis City for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, joined by Beth O'Malley. Hi, Beth. Hi. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Remember how you how, how to do this? They have cameras there and we talk. Or actually we talk and just forget that the cameras are there. We try to there. forget the cameras are there. There it's, are really not cameras. I'm really not good at forgetting the cameras Ignore the there. person behind the camera. You can't do that. Sorry. Hi, Allie. Um, so, so uh, we, in, in, since we've been here last, um, uh, we, in the happening actually today was we had some roster moves mm -hmm. for City. It was at the end of the season, teams have to decide on contract things. And so uh, City is not re-signing uh, two defenders, John Nelson and Jonathan Bell. Mm -hmm. uh, not really a surprise. Uh, neither had played a whole lot, especially in the last half of the season. Uh, Nelson was a starter at the beginning of the season, uh, lost a spot, and then kind of just faded away. Uh, <laughs> yes, he did fade away. <laughs> you, you like the, I, I, you, I enjoyed you, that. The visuals were good. And that's why, because it's a visual medium that we're now part of here. Uh, and then they, uh, they waived uh, Owen O'Malley, who had been their first draft pick uh, in franchise history, the number mm -hmm. nine overall in uh, last year's Super Draft. Uh, um, but he ended up never playing for the pro team, yeah. uh, played several games with City 2, but then uh, basically stopped playing with the team, mm -hmm. stopped dressing for the team, and also faded away. Uh, yes. Uh, and the third string goalie, uh, Michael Creek, also will not be back. Uh, but talk about a guy who was invisible. Um, <laughs> Michael was up there because yeah. uh, he was at practice, but never, never even suited up once in a while. It's, the, it's the, the plight of the number three goalie when the first two goalies um, don't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing for the first two goalies, but not for the number three goalie. So uh, the team will be looking for a new number three, yeah. probably not looking too hard, as you pointed out in the podcast. Yes, I mean, they'll, they'll be, yeah, it all depends how you want to measure looking hard. Well. But um, uh, we also, uh, there was also the announcement of the MLS Best 11 mm -hmm. uh, earlier this week, which saw two uh, uh, city uh, players making it, Roman Berkey in goal, and Tim Parker as one of the uh, defenders, one of three defenders. And uh, they were one of four clubs that had two players uh, make the team. And um, so really, when you think about that, there were only seven teams that had players make it, and they were, they, they were one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, only the third expansion team ever to have multiple players on a uh, MLS Best 11. So uh, quite, uh, quite an accomplishment Definitely. in a reflection of how this season went. And as I pointed out to you, both of those players were on the All-Star uh, roster, but you pointed out to me that that's a, twice the size. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is best 11. Yes. Uh, or best XI um, as, uh, as they do it, because it requires Roman numerals. It does. So it does. But, uh, so that was a, but that, so that's, that was a big deal. I mean, and you look at the other teams that did it. You know, in Cincinnati had two guys make the best 11, and they were you know, the best team in the league. So mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it, was, it was quite an accomplishment uh, for the citizens. Um, but one guy who didn't win was Bradley Carnell. Bradley yeah. Carnell came in second uh, in Coach of the Year voting, uh, finishing behind Pat Noonan of, uh, of Cincinnati, of the previously mentioned Cincinnati. Yes, but he's also a St. Louisan, so we can still be a little proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and he did a good job. As I say on the podcast, I mean, I, I thought he should have won it last year. When, uh, when Cincinnati made its big jump from, uh, the, uh, from being worst in the league to being 10th in the league. Uh, but he got it for this year, but, and he, he won reasonably convincingly. Yeah, he won so, handedly. So, I think we can say he, yeah. he did really, yeah. very well in the yeah. voting. And, and he did do a heck of a job. I mean, I think you have to look at that and say, you know, I mean, Cincinnati was the dominant team. Yes. Really. Though, ironically, they lost the city five to one. So uh, <laughs> it's one of those games that, you know, in City certainly did well. It's one of those things, though, and they lost, you know, five, it's, it's, it is the, you know, anomaly. Outlier. Anomaly. Okay. That was the word I was looking for. Thank you All very right. much. You're I should, should consider a career with words. Um, <laughs> Thank you. About uh, there's there's MLS season is almost over. It is almost uh, the playoffs. Uh, after it seemed like an interminable uh, gap in the season, that now things happen very quickly. We'll have the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, Columbus at Cincinnati, and then uh, uh, Houston at Los Angeles FC. And then the winners of that will meet in the state of Ohio uh, for the MLS Cup Championship. And then after that is when the postseason stuff gets into high gear. It's when uh, the trade deadline comes off, free agency begins, 
uh, all sorts of things like that leading up to the uh, MLS draft on the 19th. And we are pretty much five weeks away from training camp beginning. Let's just, let's just think about that for a moment. I, I we are five think, weeks away. We, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think we can think about it for too long. No. <laughs> but no. five weeks is not a lot of time. So if you're already wishing that city were back on the field, you can hang on. It'll be okay. It's just five more weeks. <laughs> five weeks of training camp, and then probably maybe seven weeks until they play a game, right, right, and the, yeah. the first exhibition game. Uh, so yeah, that's a, almost two months until they're they're actually. Uh, and coming up uh, also in the week after next will be the uh, uh, is the draw for the Concacaf Champions Cup, which will be eagerly awaited to see uh, who city actually will open its season again because that will be played before the MLS season begins. So a lot of stuff coming up, but that's about it for right now. I think that's it for right now. Um, for Beth, for Allie behind the camera, for everybody else roaming around the newsroom, uh, I'm Tom until not next week, probably the week after. Until then, be seeing you.